Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne, and this is Daily Brambles. Today we are doing The Flash, Season 5, Episode 10, called The Flash and the Furious. And so we start off with um, 2049, and that year, and Nora talks to um, Eobard Fawn. And basically, he, um, he explains like he was a huge fan of The Flash, but he realized he couldn't be The Flash. And that's when he went cray and he wants to apologize and wants to help. And she says no and goes back to the present day. So um, right now they have the CCPD as helping keeping Gracie safe, who is um, Cicada's and niece, who is technically like his daughter, but not by blood. It looks like his sister's daughter that died. Yeah. So anyway, um, everyone is going to go to court to support Cecile because it's, it's her first day back after maternity leave. And then we cut to where Caitlin is taking shards out of Cisco. That's what they're prepping to do. And then we have Sherlock Wells is working on Nora's case. Oh, we're trying to find the dirt on her. And we cut to where Cecile is back at work and we have the Weather Witch is on trial. And she gets a bit, like a very heavy emotion from her about her feeling like remorse or something. And um, we cut to where Cisco, uh, Caitlin um, removes the shards out of Cisco's um, hands and she, he's all good. Then we cut to where this girl steals a Lambo. And then we cut to the Weather Witch trial again. And then we cut to where the Flash can vibe in the car. So basically Barry went after the girl along with Nora and when he tried to get into the car he couldn't do it and now he can't stop vibrating. Period. So basically uh, <laughs> they had to phase him directly into the cell underneath Star Labs. And it works and uh, unfortunately this is going to take a day for it, everything to kick in and um, he has to present evidence in 10 minutes in Cecile's case against the Weather Witch, but Nora decides to step up and take Barry's place. Then we got to where Cecile is going to reduce the case sentence because she feels actual remorse. She didn't really show it in the courtroom, but she felt it a lot. So then we cut to where Nora basically, um, she was doing good at first, and then after Cecile's questioning, the other guy, the her lawyer, Weather Witch's lawyer, comes up and tries to make sure, trying to say that like, staff did everything, she did nothing. And so Nora kind of lost it a little bit, and makes um, the girl Joss feel super guilty, and then she just like, confessed, like, yes, I did, okay, I did it. And, um... So she's going to be moved to transport. Then we cut to where Cisco found something interesting with the shards. It removed the dark matter from his hands. So that, so it, he might be able to make a metahuman cure. And then, uh, and Akeem was kind of like, I don't know about that. Because I, you know, because at first, like, you know, if you think way back, Caitlin actually wanted... Killer Frost gone, but now she kind of likes having her around and felt empty without her. And then we got, then we cut to where the girl stops the convoy and gets Joss. And then we have Team Flash um, ID the girl, and her name is Rhea. And she was in the military and she was uh, disarmably discharged. Then we cut to where Nora is jumping to conclusions and saying that Rhea and Joss work together. They mustn't. Like, this is all staged and blah blah blah. And everyone else is like, mm, don't think so, but okay. And then we cut to where Rhea wants to break into Argus to steal something. Uh, Joss says no, and she leaves to go back to prison. Then we have S. Wells talks to Barry about the language that he wrote when he was in the uh, Speed Force. And, you know, just asking questions about that, trying to get a, a handle on Nora and basically what she's writing and stuff. Then we cut to where um, 
Joss is asking for Nora's help because she generated, uh, generated a fake hurricane. But it's just to get um, Nora there so she can explain herself and everything. And as for help, like, is this one to believe me? She, she was trying to... It's my belief she was trying to warn her about Rhea breaking into Argus. Then we cut to where Iris got info on Rhea and it was like heavy, like a big file. And But then we found out that Nora uh, took Joss to prison and, you know, trying to kind of went back on the deal kind of like she's saying like oh i don't believe criminals bye bye and then we cut to uh nora blowing off steam and then iris talks to her and it's like you need to give people a second chance because some people they might be they might start bad but they can change and so um if you don't believe me go ask your father <laughs> he's like the king of second chances <laughs> Then we uh, cut to where Cisco is working on the cure, but Killer Frost stops it. And then we cut to Barry reading Mick's book, and he actually really liked Mick's book. The Legends dropped it off earlier, <laughs> and um, he said like really into the book, which was pretty cool. And then we cut to where Nora talks to Barry and asks about like do you believe in second chances, like even Eobard Thawne, and she, he says yeah. If we don't believe in the good in people, then what's the point of doing our job, basically? And then we cut to Rhea busts out to Joss again. Then we cut to where both are at Argus and basically they steal Sam, which is a car. And they think, and the car supposedly is from Wayne Tech and has like all the cool specs ever on it. And basically we find out that the car can phase through stuff when uh, Killer Frost um, built an ice wall and they literally phase right through it. And basically, they can also go invisible. So, Nora has a plan to get through to Joss by using radio waves to get to her. And she does. And so, Joss uses the wand to uh, ice the roads and causes the car to crash. Which, uh, but they use the adjuster seats and then they both escape. And then we cut to where Barry is fine now. And then they have no location on Joss and Rhea. And then we cut to where Caitlin and Cisco are at her dad's lab up in the Arctic to um, officially give her blessing on the cure. But she will also help on the cure if they make it a choice. If if Metas want to have a normal life again. And not, and not to force it on them. In which he agrees. And then we cut back to 2049 where Nora will work with... Uh, Fawn, then Sherlock Wells visits Gideon, and Nora deleted all of her files. And that was the end of the episode. Um, I give this a strong... I give a strong A-. minus. Just as a couple keep little, little tiny things, so I was like, eh, whatever. But, uh, A plus for car chases and cars in general, because that's my jam. I loved it. In terms of that, I thought it was really good. Um, I like how they're trying to redeem characters and trying to make this Joss um, Nora's Leonard uh, snart. Trying to make him, like, make her the snart of, I guess, her rogue of villains or something. Or new rogues or whatever. But I'm super excited to see what's going to happen next because this whole thing out between... Nora and Thawne's very interesting. I want to see how that develops and see what happens with that. So I'm very excited for that. So anyway, what else? Um, the comedy was really well placed in there. It didn't feel like a little, it didn't feel like it was a little much or anything. So anyway, that's one for this video. <laughs> so if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree. Just tell me your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.